Hey, that's... <laughs> I remember when Estelle ate that Nia fruit. That was quite a face she made. Oh, come to think of it, it's been a long time since we've been on our own, huh, pal? I haven't been feeling like myself, even when I'm fighting. It's like I'm tired all of a sudden. You mind keeping an eye out for a while, Repeat? for later. Huh? For now, you can drop dead. Whoa! Such excitement. Hey there, Sunshine. Still living? Maybe. Well, it looks like you're awake now. How nice. Jeez, Repeat. What happened to keeping a lookout? He led us right to you, like a good boy. He's pretty clever, you know. Yeah, he told us if we came this way, we'd see the biggest fool in the world. Do you guys know what's going on? Do you really understand what has to happen after this? You're the one who doesn't understand! Carol... You can't... This is one thing you can't just do on your own, Yuri! What were you trying to prove? How far did you think you'd get without us? Yuri, even if you leave us behind thinking you don't need us... We're still going to search the whole world from top to bottom until we find you. What it boils down to is, it's no fair keeping all the fun and glory to yourself. Would it hurt for you to believe in us a little bit more? We believe in you, Yuri. Yeah, I mean, we're your friends. You got me, guys. All right, then. We're all in this together until the end. I. Right. Um, duh. So let's go do this thing. The way out of the forest is right over there. I wonder if the world will benefit if Prince Yoder becomes emperor. Who knows? What kind of weak answer is that? I thought you'd be at least a little optimistic. Well, he'll have Flynn around. That should help things a little. But only a little? I'm not so wide-eyed and innocent to think that major change is going to happen overnight. That sounds like you all right. Well, if it isn't the Imperial Knights, I guess they're getting ready to invade the capital. But it looks like they're at a standstill. I wonder if something's wrong. Oh yeah. Yuri, wouldn't it be great if Flynn came with us? Did you forget that he's leading the knights? I really doubt there's any way he could come with us. As soon as the scouts return, gather all of the lieutenants. Yuri! Everyone! Thank goodness you're all right. Her Highness must still be in Zophius then. Yeah, for now at least. What are you doing out here? The Royal Guard has taken up their positions ahead. We're just waiting on the scouts I sent to observe the enemy forces. Captain, you don't have the time to be speaking with... No need to worry. We don't plan on staying long. You're going to the capital too? Yes. There's something I'd like to discuss alone with you. Do you mind? Captain! It's fine. I'll be back soon. If there are any movements, be sure to notify me. Let's go. Prince Yoder informed me of what's been going on. About Lady Esteliz's powers, too. If it really comes down to it, you might have to. Hey, the whole reason we're going to the capital is to prevent that from happening. I know that. I'm only talking about the worst-case scenario. I've already made my choice. Or have you forgotten? No. I remember. I'm prepared for the worst, but I'm going in the hope that it can be avoided. What are you going to do? I've been thinking about this for a long time now. 
What is a law? What is a crime? Where is the line between right and wrong? After much consideration, I came to the undeniable conclusion that such a clear distinction cannot be made. Even now, my belief that we all need laws hasn't changed. But, even so, I cannot bring myself to call you evil. That's why I hoped that we could make a world where we wouldn't have to keep repeating the same mistakes. Yet look at what's happening now. Then why not come with us? The capital's full of air, so your knights wouldn't be able to enter. But if you come with us, even if we can't get everyone through, we might be able to manage some of them. Dane Nomos, huh? Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen from here on out, so you're going to have to decide for yourself what to do. I... Excuse me, sir. A large group of battle machines has emerged from the enemy lines. The numbers are staggering. What? <sighs> Yuri! We're in big trouble! How could they have been hiding so many of their forces? It looks like we're going to have some difficulty breaking through that. Some? No, that's gonna be brutal. By the time we get to the capital, we'll already be half dead. It's not like we have to face those things head on. Patty, do you see any way around them? Hmm... There's nothing but enemies anywhere I look. I have a feeling it might be impossible. But we're so close to the capital. They've started to move. They're coming this way. Hey, shouldn't we withdraw back to the hold? Captain. Yuri. Are you going to the capital to stop Alexei? And to save her highness? Yeah. Then, no matter how this ends, I believe that what you've decided is the best possible outcome. Flynn. You should go. Knights! An enemy battalion stands before us, and Alexei lies in wait behind them. I won't tell you this will be easy, and I understand if you want to flee. But I want you to remember what it is that we must do. What it is that we're protecting. We're knights. With our swords, we protect the people. I will not force any of you to fight. But if you share the same spirit as I do, then let us fight this battle together! Flynn really is amazing! Imperial Knights, straight ahead! Let's head for the capital. <sighs> A double sigh? Knock it off. We have to make up our minds about Estelle. <gasps> From what people who fled from the capital said, it's probably already too late. Stop it! Don't say that! I think Yuri has decided where he stands already. How would you know that? You mean, the reason he tried to go alone was... We have to make up our minds, too. I know what we have to do, but still... Hey, what's up, old man? I want to hear what you're planning, you know, about Estelle. We're all floating in the same boat, right? Care to share? I'm not sure I won't lose my nerve if I start talking about it now. You're just gonna have to bear with me till the time comes. You're prepared to do what's necessary. But you haven't given up hope. That about sums it up. I guess that's your style. But don't try to take it all on by yourself, alright? <laughs> it's weird hearing kind words from you, Raven. <laughs> True enough. Hard to believe we're really in the capital. This is so horrible! The plants are all overgrown. It's gotta be the air. It's so dense. Too much of this stuff would kill anybody. 
We'd definitely be in trouble without that sword. Yeah, stick close to me. Especially you, old man. Hey, I've been on pins and needles since we got here. Hold my hand, would you? Give me a break. Hold my hand! I'm not letting you run away anymore, Yuri! Give it a rest. I'm not going off by myself anymore. Look! Monsters got in here! How? The barrier is back up and running fine! They look like they're going crazy, like the ones we saw back at Cave Mock. Yuri, what is it? Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Let's go. We can't keep Estelle waiting. Hmm? The lower quarter's at the bottom of that slope. It's his home. It's... It looks like it's been overrun by the plants. <sighs> the capital's like this, and Estelle's power's been released. The world might be done for. Oh, the gloom! Rita, darling, how can you be so gloomy? Okay, first, never call me darling. Second, excuse me for not being as optimistic as you. Hey now. Old Raven's not without his own worries. Oh, really? Sure, but what's the point of getting all down? We're doing all we can to make this work out, right? You just gotta believe in yourself. Wait, that's basically a Rita trademark, ain't it? Okay, fine, you're right. Oh, how could I let you outsmart me? There now, there's hope for the world yet. As long as our little genius doesn't lose that attitude. You think he could stand to be a little less cold and prickly all the time? I mean, I know he's worried about the lower quarter, and we all want to wring Alexei's neck, but still... Oh, I'd say it's all right from time to time. What's all right about it? The fact that he acts like this, knowing the tension it causes, is a sign that he's softened. The old Yuri would never have let us see that he was upset about something. It's hard to stay emotional when your friends analyze you like you weren't even there. trusted Estelle to you, right? Yeah. He's taken on his own share of burdens, so we can focus on rescuing Estelle. Still, it must be hard for you. Mm. I'll carry his resolve with me. Good. I'm sure we can save Estelle then. <coughs> It shut up tight. Look up there! I might be able to squeeze through. Nice. You can go through there and open it from the other side. We're counting on you! Hey, we're out of time. Why don't we just blow it open? Just because there's nobody out here doesn't mean nobody's in there. It'd be a pain if we were discovered. The air is all over the city, isn't it? It's gotta be in the castle, too. Alexei must have taken some sort of precautions against that. Oh! Carol did it! Got it! Everybody hurry! Good work. Okay, this is it, folks. There's no air in here. He must have figured out how to use Estelle's power to do this. It may have been that the outer barrier was to keep the air in. That hunch you had is looking more likely by the minute, old man. We're gonna have company before long. Why is it I'm only ever right about the bad stuff happening? If you only think negatively, only bad stuff's going to happen. So just think positively. Well said. I'm sure you're right about that. Hmm. I've always thought of myself as an optimist, to be honest. It's not like saying that now's gonna change anything. We gotta brace ourselves and push forward. Yeah, those bogus knights who've sided up with the bad guys don't stand a chance. Aye! It's too bad, in a way. I finally get to see the castle, but not for the reason I was hoping. Hold on. 
Someone's there. Ha! Huh? What the? Yuri? Oh, it's Yuri! Huh? Hanks? Hanks! Everyone! You're all okay! Hey, that's my line! Why are you inside the castle? Yeah, you all too. Yes, well, Sir Flynn ordered me to lead the evacuation of the citizens. However, I realized that the inhabitants of the lower quarter were nowhere to be found. It wasn't part of my orders, but uh, you see... The exit collapsed, and a strange fog covered the ground. We were in quite a fix. Well, thanks to these knights, we escaped the fog and came here. They saved our lives. I... I am prepared to receive punishment for violating my orders. I say, we will, we take, will the take the same, same punishment. punishment. Punishment? I'm just an old man, boys. Anyway, isn't it the duty of the knights to protect the citizens? You did well. Th this is an honor. Captain Schwa... C Captain Raven. Don't call me Captain. I'm just Raven. Sir, I apologize, Sir Just Raven. Looks like somebody respects you. I never would have believed it. Guess you can't judge a book by its cover. This is great, Yuri! Huh, I forgot how tough everyone was. What was I worried about? I don't know why, Yuri, but you looked happier than I've ever seen you before. Yeah, she's right. Did you see the former Commandant? Sir, no sir, but we overheard the Royal Guard outside. Something about the sword stair? The sword stair? That really tall thing we got blasted off of. So that means he's still up there. Sounds like Smoke and Scoundrels both like high places. The problem is only important people can get to the sword stair. There's some special mechanism. I can take care of locks. Rita can take care of formulas. We can do it. You said it. Hanks, all of you should stay here and hide. Let's go. Isn't this great? Now everyone in the lower quarter is safe! Yeah, now all that's left is crushing Alexei and saving Estelle. You must be so proud that your men are finally doing some actual work. I've tried to tell you, I don't have any men. There was a real sparkle in their eyes when they were looking at you, old man. How can someone respected by so many be so cold to his friends? All right, Raven's starting to think he's had about enough of these shenanigans. This looks like fun! Victory pose! Hey, you too! Oh, hell no! Keep your eyes on my sword. And another take this! Sever! Thunder Moon! Move away! Vesperia! Now ready for business. You're killing me. So you have come at last. A Critian? No, wait, you were... Meet Chroma, special advisor to the Imperial Knights. Alexei's personal assistant. Alexei's? But that would mean... Then she's an enemy? No, I am not. For the time being, in any case. That's not a very comforting way to put it. Sorry, but we got somewhere to go. If you're here to fight, fine. If not, maybe it could wait until later.
Who is it you would fight for? What do you mean? That poor, pathetic young girl. She doesn't need your pity. You are being really vague. Come on, spit it out already. I cannot know what that one saw in all of you, but I wish for you to stop him. Okay, that made no sense. Did anybody get what she was trying to say? Maybe she wants us to stop Alexei? Hmm, maybe. It would add up, I guess. Yes, Estelle should be just up ahead. Aye, but stopping is so half-hearted. We're going to destroy him. Maybe it was more like, go nail that guy's butt to the wall. I could handle that. Come on. Astounding. I thought that crash would have been the last of you. If we hadn't been lucky, you just might have gotten your wish. You can let her go now and save yourself some pain, or we can break you first. It's your call. Sorry to be a bore, but let's say I refuse both of those. I'd be happy to decide for you. The princess was splendid. Her power equals the ancient children of the full moon. Every person has a role, and the princess has played her part exceedingly well. If she's done her part, then we'll take her back right now. As you wish. Estelle! Wait, it looks like she's being controlled. Ugh, that's not fair. That's not fair, Alexei. What would you do with the princess now? Her power has subsumed her will entirely. Her power has finally been controlled by a system I have put into place. Blastia that go out of control must be destroyed. You should know that. Don't talk about Estelle like she's just some thing. Oh, but the princess was a tool most crucial to my plans. As were you, Schwan. And since you survived, I will use you again. Return like the puppet you are. Sorry, but you buried that poor schmuck alive yourself. I'm Raven. Pleased to meet you. We all have a role to play, but each person has a say in what that role is. Even though so many live such meaningless mundane lives? I think not. If they choose that life, then so what? That's what deciding for yourself means! You have no right to decide whether they're meaningless or not! How unfortunate. We will never see eye to eye. No! Estelle, don't do this! Damn it! She's strong. I can't. I can't hurt her. Estelle, come on. Uh, Estelle, snap out of it. I guess we don't have a choice. Estelle, I'm sorry we have to hurt you. You're gone. Kill me. Oh,
Hmm, perhaps that was not enough power. Thanks to you, this new key to replace Dane Nomos is now complete. As a show of my appreciation, I will allow you to witness the fruition of my plan. The awakening of the true child of the full moon. What is that? We saw that! At Miorzo! It's... that ring we saw in the mural! <laughs> Success! At last! At last I have done it! Behold! The greatest remnant of the ancients! The enduring Shrine of Zaude! The ultimate Blastia, which once obliterated the catastrophe that threatened our world! That's a Blastia? Maybe you could say this little speech until you get some alone time. You're embarrassing yourself. The show, I am afraid, is over. It is time for the final curtain. Now, Princess, do your friends the favor of separating their heads from their bodies. Bastard! None of this would have happened if you hadn't insisted on coming here. Oh, how the poor girl will feel when she comes to her senses. Farewell. Damn you, Alexei, wait! Get back here! Alexei! Uh, Alexei! Estelle, don't! Please, before I can hurt anyone else, please. Kill me. I'll set you free. Yuri! Yuri! What the hell do you think you're doing? I... I... No! No more, please! Do you really plan to die here? You think it's okay to die? Look me in the eye! Estelle! Fire burn! Divine Wolf Blade! Ha! Not done yet! Estelle, snap out of it! Come back to us! Estelle! Ah! Are you just gonna let your life end like this? Like someone else's tool? <laughs> <laughs> I want to.
You did it, Estelle! You're you again! Wait! The system! It was being kept in check by Alexei's sword. Without that... Uh, 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 I can't... I can't stop it now! Everyone, run! Don't worry! We're not gonna lose you! I might be able to use his system. Amazing. It's synchronized with Estelle. Interference deactivation data. A formula to isolate surplus air. But what could possibly take the place of the Apatheia? What about this sword? This is the original that Alexei based his on, right? Let me try it. Let me help. I'll keep track of the flow of air. Me too! I'll help out. Oh, damn this useless body. Please! Everyone! What did I say? We're not gonna lose you. When Brave Asperia does something, we do it right. Okay. Yuri, the sword! Here! Welcome back. Nice to be back. <laughs>